All right, we're back again, folks. As promised, we're reviewing a romantic comedy. This is the second review for the new channel, as my original Cory Unlisted was unrightfully stripped from me, <laughs> as my evil old employer took away my access, but I guess that's my fault for using my personal <laughs> email, or my work email instead of my personal email. Anyway, I digress. We're reviewing movies here. Exactly. 2001 release, Serendipity. Starring John Cusack and Kate Beckinsale. This movie has an hour and 31 minute runtime. It was shot over the summer of 2000. And interesting factoid, it was supposed to originally be released. 2000? The year That's 2000. It? Okay. It was originally supposed to be released on 9-13. And then 9-11 happened. And it ended up getting released October 5th of 2001. Oh so before the movie was released, all World Trade Center imagery was digitally removed that's sad yes very sad i feel like they should put it back in re-release mm -hmm. it the way it should have been now we've gone years past that but i don't know if this movie is a classic enough to be re-released in an anniversary edition probably not i got That'd it be from the, if they did that i though. got it from the dollar bin at the local record store so 99 cents worth of romantic comedies, folks. It says a dollar ninety-five. But then they gave me another discount when I went to go ring up. So okay, fair it enough. says a perfect blend of comedy and romance. New York Observer said uplifting and delightful. Hmm. Uh, so let's talk about this movie. This movie was successful at the box office. On a budget of 28 million, it grossed 77.5 million. And there's not really a whole lot of other info on it. The director mm -hmm. is named Peter Chelsom. Didn't really dig too deep into he who he uh, into he is, but there you go. Who he is. Uh, let's just go right into the reviews. So the Google users like the movie. Out of two hundred and fifty-eight people so far that have submitted their own review, four point three out of five. I'm not there with them. No. It was okay, but it wasn't the best movie of the early two thousands. I'm three out of five. Rotten Tomatoes, even less. 59%. I think it's better than that. IMDb, 6.8 out of 10. So, it's a B movie. But it's is it a classic of the uh, late 90s, early 2000s rom-com genre? I don't think it's a B movie. You I'd think it's say better? You're more maybe an A-. minus. Okay, so what's your what's your 1 to 5 rating on it? I guess I'm 3.5 or... Okay. Maybe 3.8. Well, I don't know. 3.8. You're I'm more a, than me, then. I'm almost a 4. Uh-oh. Somebody's upset. I guess his snack is all gone. Ooh. Let's go let him in. He's going to break the door down. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We're not expecting such violence in the low-budget movie reviews. There's no editing here. So... <laughs> This YouTube channel is a disaster. It's not getting any better, folks. If you subscribe to my old channel, you don't expect a lot. And now, Corey, Unlisted Part 2, even worse. Okay, so let's talk about a little bit of the premise of the movie. They meet in their early 20s. John Cusack meets Kate Beckinsale at Bloomingdale's in Manhattan. They go to buy the same pair of gloves, the last pair of cashmere gloves in the color of black. She was buying the gloves for herself he was buying for his girlfriend at the time and she's all about fate and stars aligning about people coming together and play some game because he asked for her number even though he's got a girlfriend so that kind of bothered me but whatever it's a movie they don't end up together 10 years go by and he's gonna marry some other chick and but he's still fantasizing about Beck and Sale that he met for like a couple of hours 10 years ago. And there's a whole elevator scene at the Waldorf, Waldorf Astoria that's kind of important. We won't get into the nitty gritty. Just live your life, folks. Don't look for signs and wonders. They could have been together 10 years ago. Instead, she's playing games. I don't play games. Make a decision. Yay or nay, perhaps that's why I'm still unemployed almost a month since my job ended. All but, right, this isn't about your job. This is about <laughs> this movie. I was stay just on, telling the, I was just telling the viewers kind of the premise of the movie, and I felt like the whole premise of this movie is her playing games and looking for signs and wonders about who she's supposed to be with. And 
I think that's she silly. She believes but in that's the fate whole point of the and deal. destiny in the beginning. And then she kind of tries to get away from those beliefs when she loses the guy because she almost has to settle for second best. He wrote his name and number on a $5 bill and then spent it as change. And she said, if I get it back and change somewhere else, then I'll know that we're supposed to call. I'm supposed to call you and be together. And then she, frivolous. Frivolous? I don't know. And then she wrote her phone number inside of inside a book called Love in the Time of Cholera. Yeah. So it's, then he spends the next several years looking through every copy of that book that he finds trying to find her number. That's that's so I guess it's kind of interesting to see that's them. Kind of cute. But I like it. Overall, it was just okay. Fun fact what about Kate Beckinsale. She doesn't drink, she doesn't smoke, she doesn't do one night stands. However, she was introduced to cigarettes at the age of nine and is a smoker since nine Ew. years old. And she's fifty now. Her teeth look really good. They look fake. Oh. I don't know. He always knows when people have fake teeth. I never know. <laughs> but I'm sorry, she's Kate cute. Beckinsale, if you're watching this, I don't mean to insult you, but that's pretty much it's very insulting. all that I have it to is say about, very this, insulting. about this film. <laughs> sorry, Kate. It's a B movie. I think you're really cute. It's just okay for me. I think you're in a very attractive woman, and I didn't notice that your teeth were fake at all. How do you feel about this late 90s, early 2000s swooped up hair? I like it. Kind of dyed with a reddish hue. Who thinks he's cute? John He's Cusack. way better looking than his sister. Now, if John you're going Cusack? to, like, say anything, John Cusack, of the 80s, early 90s, now we're talking. Early 2000s, John Cusack, and I don't know. He's okay. He's okay. Even Billy Crystal is... Okay. Kind of... <laughs> Almost we're, on par with this guy. In we're my really opinion. scraping. He's funnier. The, there wasn't a lot That's of information on the Wikipedia so page funny. about this film, so we're digging deep to bring the I time up. I liked it. Of this I video. thought it was pretty good. It's just funny because she believes in the destiny and fate stuff, and he's like, "Just give me your number in case our relationships don't work out." You know, he doesn't really believe in all that stuff. But really, realistically, <clears throat> would you want to be with someone long term who? Was into all these signs and crap, and you're just like, like let's I said, go get Chinese food and forget about this. I mean, silly, but it's a movie. It might get annoying after a while and if you didn't subscribe to all that stuff. The box office total would it. disagree with by a low review because even though critics did not like the movie, it made money. And you know who was in it too? Molly Shannon. And she plays Eugene the best friend. Levy is also in it, and oh, the yeah. guy and that funny. was in old school that plays the dean of the school whose name eludes me oh yeah he's in it he plays the best friend yeah he plays the best man so that's pretty much all we have to jeremy piven cute. well you know what jeremy it's piven kind of, is in it it's kind of similar to you've got mail in that similar when time they're, period similar when they're well, films when of did the you've early got mail come out 1989 similar or? time period this movie was filmed in the summer well there's of no real computer stuff in it but what reminded me was that both the main characters are like in a relationship already and then you've got mail they're emailing back and forth and they're both like already seeing Highly someone inappropriate it's kind of kind of cringy yeah if you don't like cheating it's it, this movie pissed me <laughs> off like because he's engaged to be married to a lovely woman uh, <laughs> john cusack is engaged to be married to a lovely woman i believe her name is howie and the, the whole movie. time he's trying to find out two days before his wedding He's trying to find out how to get in touch with the Kate Beckinsale character and going to great lengths to do it. And I'm like, this is such a disservice to this poor woman. She's a victim and in all of it. And to her credit, they don't really show anything like wrong or There's bad no about reason her. for you to hate this other person. There's she no bad like nice attribute. Lady. On the other hand, the, the Kate character Beckinsale, for Kate Beckinsale, her boyfriend was just kind of yeah. Bad. He's like in this Eastern New musical Age band, band, and it's just kind of annoying. And he's, he's like focusing with it. on his musical career, and you can see that Beckinsale's kind of taking a backseat. So I could see that's kind of a detractor. But the whole John Cusack relationship, him sabotaging that—he's kind of cute though. It's played. He's played by the same guy who's in You've or not You've Got Mail, no, um, My Big Fat Greek, Greek Wedding. wedding. Yeah. So if you like that long kind of almost curly wavy man hair look he's got long hair <coughs> i mean for a dude okay we're coming up on sometimes 10 minutes. men have long let's, hair let's but... wrap it up any final Anyways, thoughts he's he's you know he's 
he's nice and he's a little clingy though because she goes to New York and he follows her there and he's like sleeping in the hallway of her hotel room like kind of stalking her and says like I missed you or whatever it's like really you couldn't just let her go away for one weekend you had to follower there <laughs> fun factoid a little clingy the serendipity original motion picture soundtrack available now wherever cds are sold includes the single the distance by evan and jaren oh yeah the music was so like of the time i might need to get the soundtrack <laughs> you know, <laughs> a couple good songs then i'm gonna be subjected i really to like the 90s early 2000s who's music? watching this <laughs> review of serendipity it's with two randos good. on a channel that has no subscribers since i wrongfully lost my original channel with almost 500 subscribers that's we'll it just folks comment on serendipity in the back tell us if you've seen this video and what your rating is on it we look forward to it have a great evening folks Bye -bye. happy new year happy new year